George Carroll? Yep. I have something that belongs to you. You got something that belongs to me? Give it to me. Your mail. Where'd you get that? Reverend Carroll. Okay, let's have it. Oh, not yet, you won't. Oh, now what do you want? The 20 bucks I pay Clara? I want some answers. That letter's mine, mister, and I don't have to pay for it. Well, that answers one of the questions. You're J.C. Peters. Well, in my business, I've used a lot of names. Now, what about that letter? What's in it? <laughs> well, you know that, or you would have opened it before you knocked. That's right, I know what's in it. I want to know if you do. My paycheck. And it wouldn't be too smart of you to try to hang on to it. Your paycheck? That's right. Now, what is this? Where does the check go? <laughs> George Cowell Welfare and Benefit Society, okay? Stop here, go on to somebody else. Look to my creditors. It doesn't go to somebody else, like a woman? Oh, now, let's you give up some answers now. I already asked you, what is this all about? And I asked you where Jim Carlson's money goes. I answered you. If you don't like it, you can ask Carlson. Oh, come on, you can give me a quicker answer. I did, remember? My paycheck? My fee for services rendered. Oh, uh, J.C., with a fee like that, you could afford to live better than this. Well, you ain't no cop. What are you, lawyer? If that check stops here, there's only one thing it could be. You call it a fee. The law calls it blackmail. Oh, would it now? Well, why not just a fee? Because fees are deductible, Jim Carlson doesn't deduct what he pays you. And you're right. I am a lawyer. Well, have a seat, Counselor. I won't be able to stay that long. Then we'll both stand. You know, law is interesting. For instance, law says that letter belongs to me. That could be a moot point. Whose lawyer are you, anyway? Or are you just looking for a little piece of the action? You know, blackmail's a felony, Mr. Carroll. Ten to twenty years. Now, don't you think it would be smart to cooperate? Nope. Because to prove blackmail, you'd have to get help from Mr. Carson, and I don't think he sent you here. So you just stop wasting time, lawyer. You show your cards or drop the bluff. <laughs> Lousy hand, huh? Yeah, you see, I'm a lawyer, too. Jailhouse lawyer. You know, in the circus, Carney wheel, you pick up a lot of law. You got to. Now, you try to take that envelope out of here, I'm gonna have you up for theft. You're no cop, you got no warrant, and taking my fee is a felony, too. Because that check is 1,000 bucks. Ten times what it takes to make a felony. Ten to twenty years, Mr. Counselor, just like blackmail. <laughs> Ah, uh, you're a tough man, Mr. Cow. Uh, by the way, you pay taxes on that? Oh, I pay. File just like everybody else. My fee for services performed. Now, are you done? Oh, yeah. I think I'll go and see Jim Carlson. <laughs> if you could do that, you'd have done it. No, that's your problem. You're just up against a dead end. Now, goodbye. What does he look like? Don't you know? Well, if you're working for him, you know what he looks like. If you're not, let's stop kidding around. You're a blackmailer. Now, you tell me what he looks like, and I'll believe you. Well, I don't care if you believe me. Now, how about saying goodbye, huh? I got company coming. Well, there are no witnesses in this room. I can't use anything you say against you. So. Can't hurt you to uh, tell me the truth. <laughs> 